The Coco Handle and the Trendy CC are among the most popular top handle handbags from Chanel. But which one should you choose if you were to just choose one? In this video, I'm going to be comparing my Coco Handle in the small size with the small size Trendy CC. Hello, my name is Amy and on this channel, we're all about making the savviest and stylish decisions around luxury fashion. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. I often get asked between these two bags, which one should you go for? Which one I like more? Which one would I buy first? which one would I buy if I only had to choose one, which one is more hard wearing or more versatile. These are all questions that I constantly get. So in this video, I'm going to do a comparison review of these two bags. I'm going to talk about their weight, their dimensions, how they look on me, and I'll talk about pros and cons. This is my most recent Chanel bag, so I haven't really had a chance to get to know it that well yet. And I haven't really used it to be honest, but I'm still going to give you my thought process when compared to this bag. So this is from the 20A collection, which is very recent. This one is from the 19A collection, which is last year's Mitsuya Da collection. But the Coco Handle and of the Trendy CC are both seasonal bags that do come back very often. I personally consider them to be almost classics. They're not officially classics because they are seasonal bags and they don't come back every single season, but they do come back often enough that I consider them to be classic. Based on my own measurements, the dimension of the base here is about nine inches wide. At the top here is about seven and a half inches wide. The height is about five and a half inches wide. And the drop here of the handle is about three inches wide. And the width of the bag over here at the widest point is three and three quarters inches wide. This bag weighs 544 grams. The Coco handle also features a detachable strap. And on this one, the strap drop between here to here is 17 and a half inches. And even for me, I don't like crossbodying this bag because it does sit up pretty high and this top handle here does dig in. So the weight of the Trendy CC is 897 grams. That is almost two pounds. I do have two organizers, one in the front and in the middle pocket. If you do add the weight of the Samorga organizer, this bag becomes over two pounds. It is actually two pounds and two ounces or 961 gram. I'm gonna go ahead and give you the dimensions of the Trendy CC, which is nine and a half inches across, six and a half inches in height, the width of the bag is four and a half inches. Of course, it can still expand a little bit. The drop at the top handle is about four inches. The shoulder strap is about 19 and a half inches. It is not detachable on mine, but on some models or on some seasons, I should say, it is detachable because some of them have a T-bar inside, whereas mine has a round stopper. In terms of pricing, there is quite a bit of a difference between these two bags. I would say that in Canadian dollars, they're about $2,000 difference. However, do keep in mind that my Coco handle, so this particular version, as well as any versions coming out in the future, are all going to be lined in fabric instead of leather. In the past, they were offered in leather lining with exotic skin handles. So it was actually more expensive in the past. It was about $1,000 more than their regular a fabric line one so just do keep that in mind because some cocoa handles that were bought in the past especially those that have the leather lining and the exotic skin can be more expensive i don't really believe that any handbag is perfect a hundred percent every single handbag does have pros and cons it just depends on whether the pros and the cons are good enough or acceptable to you for you to buy the bag. Some of the pros of the Coco Handle that I really appreciate is the fact that it is made in caviar. So the material on the Coco Handle is a little bit more carefree. I just I'm not as worried about it when I wear it. Of course, the shape of the cocoa handle is also quite structured and the corners are quite pointy. So if you don't baby your bag or if you're not as careful of a person, then the corners will wear first probably and it does wear more easily than say the classic flop. But in general, I don't find that there's any issues for me. My corners are all in perfect condition and I am careful with my bags. I don't baby them, but I am careful enough that I never have any issues with corner wear. The Coco handle is still in a very acceptable price range given how much bag you get. In terms of recent 
resale value, mini flaps are always going to be better at it, but you still get a lot of bag for the money that you pay for, especially now that they are actually less expensive than the minis. And I'm finding that Chanel is making the cocoa handle quite frequently now, which is a good and a bad thing, but at least it's accessible. I also think that the cocoa handle has a lot of classic features, or at least it looks like a very classic shape handbag. I don't think that the shape of this is as versatile as the trendy CC, but it is still a very beautiful shape. And I think a lot of people like the cocoa handle because of that reason as well. What I mean by classic feature is the CC lock over here, the quilted feature, the flap feature and then of course you've got uh, the intertwined leather and chain feature as well so these are some of the classic features that you would see on the classic flap another pro of the cocoa handle is that because it has become more popular i find that they are releasing the cocoa handle a lot more often and in fact in a lot more options as well in the most current season 20a they had it in lilac in pink in beige, in black, in gold. It just goes to show that the cocoa handle is not going anywhere and the fact that it is becoming more popular and more sought after than it might also help in the future resale value. Another feature that is my favorite is this handle here. I just really love the construction of the handle. It just is so easy to grab and go and it just feels solid and everything. Now, the construction of this bag has not always been the best. In fact, I think this just applies to everything at Chanel now, especially because I feel like with how much they have to churn out with the popularity going up. I love the fact that the chain is detachable, although I never really detach it. I always just leave it hanging like this. And I love carrying it by the handle like this. Or in the summer, I don't mind also wearing it on my shoulder because this handle does tend to slip off. So if you have a bare shoulder, then it actually stays on your skin a little bit better. So it actually is more of a summer bag for me. So yeah, those are some of the cons that we'll get into. I do prefer just the mini size myself or the smallest size myself. I actually would not buy the size up from this simply because of one design flaw that I feel like can happen and it is right here where the detachable strap is hooked onto. So this little piece of metal here is quite thin and I won't say flimsy, it's actually perfectly fine for the mini size because the mini size doesn't weigh that much and you can't really put more than it can fit. So for the mini size, it's perfectly fine, but for any size up from that, I have seen this metal piece snap broken. I don't find it to be as versatile of a style as say the trendy CC since we're comparing these two. If you do dress a little bit more casual, this handbag just doesn't really go with the vibe as much. You can still pull it off sometimes, but in general, I just prefer wearing this in the summer with a pretty dress or with a, an outfit that is a little bit more ladylike, that kind of vibe does suit this bag a lot more. Whereas the trendy CC, I find it to be way more versatile. I think even if I was dressed really, really casual, it would still work. I'm not sure if it's because the weight of this bag is quite light and therefore maybe that's why it doesn't stay on the shoulder. But I do find that especially when I wear a little bit thicker of a fabric, so let's say in the winter with a a thicker coat or even a sweater it just tends to slide off a little bit more easily and the fact that this top handle is quite rigid means that every time you open the bag that it will do this so it's not flexible it won't bend any other way so when I open the bag I make it a habit to push it away from me so that there is space for it to open as well as for me to get in of it because this top handle will technically not dig into you per se, like it doesn't hurt or anything, but it just gets in the way. Another con of the smaller size is that the opening is a little bit more constricting and I find it more constricting than the mini flaps just because it is a larger bag. So in order for you to really be able to dig in, you have to open it quite wide. It is not difficult by any means, but it is just something to consider. The back compartment is a little bit slimmer. I tend to not use it as much. So I do mostly put my phone in there or a slim card holder, but that's about it. I don't really use it that much. Otherwise it just is too hard to reach in. Uh, and then also this slim slip compartment in the middle. So the fabric, 
compartment I don't really use it either I almost always forget that it's there so really I use mostly the front compartment and the back compartment for my phone and maybe a card holder they have also stopped producing exotic skin in any of Chanel handbags so this was the first season where they started making embossed skin so even though this looks like lizard skin it is actually just calf skin that is embossed which is really beautiful I really don't mind that and I actually don't mind that it is a fabric line either it does make it less luxurious in terms of what you get but it does make it more practical and the trendy CC actually shares a lot of the same pros and cons I can definitely picture someone in their 20s wearing the trendy CC but I can also picture someone who is in their 80s and wearing the trendy CC I just find that the style is very timeless really really love the top handle this top handle is definitely one of my favorite features in fact top handles in general are just one of my favorite features especially when they're very generous this one is four inches in the drop here so even in the winter time there is no problems putting this on the crook of your arm whereas the cocoa handle in the size mini is a little bit more difficult in the summer I have no problems putting it through my arms and I do have pretty small arms too so do keep that in mind but in the winter it's going to be a lot harder the cocoa handle only comes in caviar and sometimes in distressed calf skin so in terms of the material although I do appreciate the durability of the caviar or even distressed calf skin for the trendy CC it only comes in lambskin and therefore it is a pro and a con so the obvious pro is that it is so luxurious they feel so soft and they also look very soft and luxurious and shiny as well even though it looks like a very classic serious bag it is actually very very versatile maybe because it's square and a little bit more boxy that it just looks a bit more masculine and easily dressed down maybe also because of the plaque up here even though you don't really see it in a way so it just is a combination of just the style and the shape itself i find that makes it so versatile to style i also love that the strap here is long enough the crossbody even though that's not how i would imagine myself wearing it i just know that it is possible to do and it is actually quite easy to do even in the winter i find that it would be long enough for a petite body frame like mine Mine. but in general I just feel like the drop on this bag is a lot more universal in some seasons they do come in the t-bar really really appreciate the compartments here that comes with the bag I don't really use the middle lipstick one but I do like using the side ones for my key as well as for my bag hanger I do end up using organizers for this bag though the main reason is to keep the interior clean but more importantly is to keep the shape when I'm not really using the bag because it is completely in lambskin even though right now it is in brand new state so there's no creases there's nothing going on yet but in the future over the years if you don't stuff it properly or if you don't have an organizer inside then it can crease it might slouch or it might crease or it might just become a different shape than it originally is so this just kind of prevents it or at least prolongs the original shape and original condition more for a longer time a lot of the pros that i talked about can actually be their cons as well so in terms of price this one is about two thousand dollars more expensive which is a con because it is already expensive enough as it is to buy any chanel item so the fact that it is a lot more expensive means that you have to save a little bit longer but like i said you do get what you pay for you get more bag you get a bigger bag and you get an all leather line as well the fact that it's lambskin means that it's very luxurious but it also means that it's a little bit more delicate in fact it can be very delicate depending on how you normally use or treat your bags for someone who is just generally in their character to be more careless then their bag might wear out a little bit faster they might get a lot more corner wear they might just have a lot more creases all around the bag and maybe scratches just because it's just in the nature of lambskin to be more delicate the fact that it is lambskin means that you should really be careful about water drops on it or getting it wet in general of course with any leather bag even caviar you should not really get it wet anyway but with caviar it easily wipes off a little bit more more resistant i was asking my essay whether water drops is a big issue for this bag she just 
basically told me straight that I should not get it wet at all if possible and if it's raining I should either bring a raincoat for my bag or not wear it because it's just not good for lambskin in general drizzle here and there is not going to make that big of a difference but I'm sure if you do it often enough that it's not very good for lambskin in general those of you who do own the trendy CC please do comment down below another major con is that it does weigh quite a bit because this is one of my heaviest Chanel handbags for me personally I find that any bags that exceed two pounds especially once you put your content inside to me that is that is heavy luckily it does have this really nice and soft shoulder strap piece so I think it really does help if you do plan to wear on your shoulder often uh, for me I think I will most likely use it by the top handle most of the time that's just the way that I envisioned using this bag when I bought it and it is mostly due to the weight and the fact that I love a good top handle anyway I just love the look I just love the way I carry a handle by the top handle or by the crook of the arm I just really prefer that now I just feel like it's not only the style itself but just my preferred way of handling a handbag in general even though I haven't owned this bag for that long there are already imperfections I would say they're not really wear and tear because I haven't really worn it I have you know handled it and showed it on video and everything but that's what I mean by that lambskin is being more delicate it's just a known fact everybody knows it but it also ages more beautifully in a way that basically lambskin just patina similar to how LV Vachetta patinas which means it ages and it just becomes sort of its own character and its own beauty that's how lambskin is it will develop its own creases it own little scuffs here and there that you can sort of buff but it, it is there and it will be visible and it's just part of the character of lambskin so it's not that it's bad it's just different and I think it's an acquired taste for a lot of us I think for Europeans they just already like that that's just in their culture to like lambskin and also lambskin is known to be the more superior or more luxurious leather material used by most high fashion houses so even before a long time before Chanel lambskin handbags even if it's the exact same handbags they were more expensive than the caviar counterparts with modern changes and modern needs and just people valuing different things now and globalization it has made them equal priced the material I mean lambskin is just a harder material to uh, produce and to probably uh, work with I don't know <laughs> uh, so in general lambskin should be more expensive I was also asked by a subby to show any sort of creases or wrinkles so you see there is a bit here um, it's just a natural process and it will just develop more over time even though it does buff easily especially for little scratches here and there see the little creases here it's just an inevitable character just compare two exact same bag maybe a caviar mini and a lambskin mini you'll feel the difference the, the strap itself feels different the bag itself feels different you probably buy the different materials with different needs in mind but let's just say that I did not own any of these two bags yet in my collection and I have to decide which one I want to get first I think as of today I will probably go with the trendy CC first and I know that is exactly the opposite of what I did because I did own three Coco handles before owning the trendy CC I think the reason why I choose the trendy CC first is because if I look at my collection I do own quite a few minis already and that not that this is the exact same thing as my minis but at least I can sort of get away with my minis for evening or for when I want to downsize another reason is because I feel like this bag being so much more expensive than the Coco handle is just it just makes sense to get it earlier just because if there's any price increases then this one will increase a lot faster even though it is a lambskin bag and it means that I cannot wear it all the time because let's just be real it does rain quite often here in Vancouver so unless I bring a raincoat with me I probably wouldn't wear this bag as often but I just feel like it's just a matter of choice like I in the end I'm 
most likely going to end up with both anyway but if i had to choose between the two and i have to really really decide on my first one first then i would probably go with the trendy cc just so that i get it out of the way but that does not mean in any way whatsoever that i don't like my cocoa handles because i obviously own three and the fact that maybe because the fact that cocoa handles are a little bit easier to come by nowadays i just feel like there is that too and the fact that because i own three and i do find myself not reaching for them as often as I thought I would. It's more of a summer style for me. It's a more specific dressier style for me. So it's not as versatile, even though I love it. I completely love this bag. Don't get me wrong. And the fact that this is more durable, like I said, they're very equal. It almost can go either way, but I just feel like if I just analyze it from the point of view of today, what I think today, I would probably try to get this one first and then I would try to get my hands on this next. Now, the only exception is if for whatever reason, that particular season and they come up with a really beautiful color because Chanel never ever makes the exact same color in two consecutive seasons or in a near future season, then for sure I'll get the cocoa handle first. So it does depend on that as well. But just speaking from the point of view of these two exact same color and same exact style, I think I would most likely choose the Trendy CC first. Honestly, there's a lot to consider. And it's not just my point of view, it's also from your lifestyle point of view, your needs point of view, your collections point of view. Do analyze what you have first, what you tend to use it for, how you tend to dress more, what colors you go for more often, all these things are super important and also where you live. I also encourage you to watch my review videos of these respective bags. I do have a lot of the videos on these bags already, so I will put them in the description below as well as in the corner here. Those of you who do own these two bags, let me know down below if you were to redo it completely, would you buy the Trendy CC first or the Coco Handle first? Or do you prefer the Trendy CC or the Coco Handle more and why? Thank you all so much for watching. If you're new here, I would love to have you back, so please do consider subscribing. And I'll talk to you all again very soon. Bye.